Greetings fellow Wastelanders and welcome to a tour of my second attempt at a Ten Pines Bluff settlement build. This build was done on a PlayStation 5 using the Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition, which includes all DLCs such as Nuka World and Far Harbor. I do not use any building mods, however I do have Creation Club creations installed, so you will see Creation Club skins, but as of right now, I am not currently using any CC build objects in my settlements. Okay, let's get started. We start at the front of the settlement, around where you would wind up when you fast travel to Ten Pines Bluff. Unlike my last build, I wanted this part of the settlement to be more fortified and robust, hence the two guard stations on the right. This is also where attackers will generally spawn, so I have several turrets here ready to greet them with firepower, including one sitting on an animal cage, hence the unique texture off to the right. Our first stop inside the settlement is Beacon Hospital. For longtime Bethesda fans, you will know this name from another one of Bethesda's other franchises, The Evil Within. But there are no creepy critters or monsters inside the settlement trying to hunt you down. Instead, here at the hospital we have a team of doctors who are ready to take care of your medical needs. Doctors around these days. Should... Upstairs is the living quarters for the doctors. I wanted the lighting up here to be warm and welcoming with yellow and orange tones, contrasting against the rather harsh white light of the hospital floor below. This living area also features a private bathroom that the doctors share. By Wasteland standards, this is a luxury. Small fee, of course. 
Let's check out this guard tower. This bridge allows guards to change positions quickly as they fight off potential invaders. This workout area helps them stay in shape and of course adds happiness to the settlement. The weights were all acquired from the boxing gym near Pickman's Gallery. The lower level of this guard tower features the weapons modification area and a suit of power armor for guards to use. Funny fact, I accidentally left the fusion core in this suit of power armor and I recently returned to the settlement to find a guard actually using it. I figured I'd let him have it since he's using it to guard the settlement. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. The whole place is run by robots. This workshop is actually the original shack that came with the settlement. The original beds are still there, they just have a generator sitting on top of them. This wasn't my original idea. I saw Sardeliac do this in one of his builds and took inspiration from that. From here, we can follow this tunnel to the Minuteman Workshop and Command Center. Here, Minutemen can work on maintenance tasks, modify armor, communicate with the castle, and work on power armor. In my last build, I had turned this section into a bar, yeah. so I wanted to do something a bit different this time. Upstairs, we have a small living quarters for the guards. Outside, there is a patio area where settlers and guards can cook food and enjoy the view as they eat. And hey look, it's cricket on a roof.
Next up, we visit Shopper's World. This is actually named after a real store located not too far from where I live. Up here, we have a food vendor stand glitched in with a food cart from Nuka World. The vendor has apparently wandered off for now, but he is here most of the time. Inside, we have living quarters for the settlers. This is a communal space with everything the settlers need to be comfortable, including beds, a place to eat, a stove, and a bathroom to share. Inside the bathroom, you'll see a mirror above the sink. This was created by reversing a poster from the Nuka Galaxy section of the build menu and pillar glitching it into the wall. I learned this method from the schooled zone. The first shop we'll visit is the general store, where you can find all sorts of junk. The shop owner is wearing one of the Habologist outfits from Nuka World. It's not an outfit you see used often, so I thought it'd be neat to use here. Next up, we have the Unique Boutique, a clothing shop and salon. I tend to put these two together to add happiness to the settlement, and I figured while people wait for a haircut, they could do some shopping or hang out and have a drink. Down this hall is the living quarters for the clothing shop owner and salon owner.
If you've seen my other videos, you know I love using the traveling caravan trader post. Since Lucas already comes to Ten Pines on his own, I figured I'd add the post here for others like Cricket to visit as well. When you arrive at Ten Pines, the two settlers here are already hard at work caring for crops. I moved all these plants to the back of the settlement inside this greenhouse. A tip, try to only move plants when they have fruit on them. Otherwise, you risk the chance of getting a ghost plant that appears to be in a spot in the ground even when it is no longer there. Wish You Were Beer is the restaurant pub at Ten Pines Bluff. It is built on the remains of the house in the back of the settlement. I glitched in wall parts and then added prefab structures into the front to add patio areas and give it an odd shape. I learned about glitching the warehouse and barn pieces into this blown out structure from the school zone. I have linked to the school zones video on this in the description below. Up here, we have a guard post to keep the side area safe. I'm generally not big on putting walls up everywhere. I Hope prefer guard posts and towers over walling fire. the entire settlement off. Up another level, and we have the living quarters for the staff of the restaurant, pub, and other settlers.
And that brings us to the end of this tour. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy what I do, please consider subscribing. Kind comments are always appreciated. If you have any questions about something you have seen in this video, including how something was done without mods, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them in a timely manner. Special thanks to my patrons on Patreon who support my activities on Ben's World of Transformers and allow me to do these videos. If you'd like to see a quick nighttime tour, keep watching after this message. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Got work to do, can't talk now.
Stick to the roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. I need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Huh? Soda is like drinking sunshine. Oh, 